Before I jump into the main topic, here is an important detail. If you are preparing for a tech role, then you must choose a solid career track. Visit sandfoundry.com slash training to know more. Dear friends, uh, in this particular problem, we are going to look into your understanding of bitwise operations. Okay, so this is a fairly simple code and it's a very small problem. Okay, uh, let's try to analyze this particular code. We have the value of A is 8 and the value of another integer B is 4. We are trying to do an A and B and then you should tell whether the answer is going to be true and false. So it's a fairly a simple uh, if condition. So pause the code, analyze if possible, run in your system and try to see if the answer is going to be same or different. Okay. Many people who are casual programmer, right? Casual means they look into the code and say, oh, I pretty much know the answer actually, okay? So I think you should definitely run the code and try to see whether your understanding is correct or not. I have seen many a times, again, it's more about programming errors that people see in their logics generally, right? So when you do software development, you do have some logic, you know, you have something in your mind as part of the code, but when you try to write the real code for it, it doesn't work as expected in some of the situations okay so this is one tricky situation where it might or might not work actually okay so let's uh, look into this code run it and then i am jumping into the lab run and then i will explain in detail about uh, this particular condition okay all right so i will talk about it in the lab activity now so we have a code here where I am trying to do a right printf. Let's see. So the code is fine. I am sure the compilation will also be fine. And then we will run the code. So the answer is false, right? So again, for some of you, uh, maybe your logic is definitely correct. Answer is going to be false. But a lot of casual programmer, what they do is they say, oh, this is basically a non-zero value and this is also a non. So both are positive value, you can see here. Yeah? They think that we are going to do an and and then it is going to be true because it is true and then this is true, it is true. I think in their understanding, they are equating this and as a logical and actually, right? This is not a logical and. So the number one thing you have to understand here is, right, basically what is logical and and what is bitwise right okay bitwise and operation a and d right so we have to understand the logical and and then bitwise and right i think if you understand this then pretty much you know the answer actually okay so if it is a logical and then it's going to be a different answer but let's talk about bitwise first okay so when you talk about this bitwise operators in c language in bitwise operators when we have an operand multiple operands. So in this uh, uh, binary bitwise operator, you have A and B, right? So both the operand will be converted into equivalent bitwise representation. I repeat, it's a bitwise representation. And then for the corresponding bit positions, we are going to do a AND gate, right? For the corresponding bit positions, we are going to do an AND gate. And the final answer will deduce, will tell us if the if condition is going to be true and false. So I'm going to explain with some more modification to this code so that you have more clarity about exactly about bitwise. Okay. And then how it is worked out. So if you see this example, right, let's take this example. What is A? A is basically a value 8. How do we represent uh, 8? We can represent it as uh, in a bitwise position wise, right? So if you just, just say we'll add like this, this is then, uh, this is the value I'm converting into, it's an integer uh, as you know, okay? But integer have uh, 32 bits. So I, all will be zeros on the left hand side. So I have just taken the last byte and kind of written like this, okay? So I think this is the understanding at this point. Uh, no need to write so many zeros on the left hand side, okay? So this is eight. What is B? B is four. 
So when you say B is 4, we have to convert it into binary representation. Okay, so I will look into the last byte. So binary representation of 4 is 100 zero zero, and then all the zeros on the left hand side you can see. So that's how you'll remember 100 zero zero and all the zeros. What is it? 1 triple zero and all the zeros on this side. Right? Now when you're trying to do a uh, uh, gate here, right? So it's basically a and operation not an or this is an and operation right okay so we will do a corresponding and operation and then we will uh, get the final answer right so when you simply do an and so you can say this is zero zero again zero 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 one zero again zero zero one end of zero one again zero and then zero 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 and then zero so what you can see here is all are zero this four was anyway zero then one zero is zero zero one is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, right? So now you can see that all are basically 0. So the result of, so what is this? This is finally 0. So the result of this if condition is a 0. If it is 0, then our if is not true, it fails, which means we come to the else part, right? Sorry. Yeah, so So we come to the else part here. So else part prints you the false. So that is the explanation for why the answer was false, right? So let me just do some cleanup and then do a CC and then A dot out, sorry, A dot out and the result is false. Now let's modify it little bit so that we have more, we have a better understanding, okay? Suppose I said eight, and then b equal to 4, right? So you can see this. If I modify it little bit, somehow make sure that one of these positions are 1, 1, right? Basically, so let's take some example. I have various ways to solve it. If I say 9, a is 9. And if I say b is 5, right? So, so original value of a was, say, 8. And then b was 4. This was the original value, right? But what I am doing is, I am slightly modifying it so that you know we get slightly different understanding right so here what happens is you see the value of a equal to 9 so you have to solve it this is not true here okay so when you say a equal to 9 let me quickly try to write the equivalent code for this okay so I am kind of now you know, somehow quickly doing some copy paste and try to modify the value of a is 9 actually okay and then the value of b was now 5. So what is 9 in binary? 9 is 1001. So this becomes 1 here. Okay, 1001. And then all are 0 here. What is B? B is basically a 5, which is nothing but 101. This is 5, right? So this is 5. As you can watch here, when you do a binary bitwise and operation, this guy, right? In this case, all will be zero here from always, sorry, from this corner all the way up to here is zero, but the last guy is one. If the last person is one here, right? So the, the, the this value is not zero, this is one. So if you see the if condition becomes true. So if condition becomes true, then the answer will be true. So if suppose I have to run this code, right? I'll run this code, you'll get an answer is true because the if condition is not zero, right? So if it is not zero, then you pretty much know it is true now at this point of time, right? So this is true. So I hope you got the idea actually, okay? Now let's modify it a little bit more actually, okay? So some people think you got the value one. If, if, if it is one, then only the if condition is true. Many people understand that if condition, right? If you'll always look for whether the value is zero or not zero generally in this case, in the terms of computation, okay, basically. So here you say it is one. If it is two also, then it is fine. If it is three also, it is fine. It's always true, okay, yeah. Now, since we talked about uh, bitwise, let's uh, have a quick look at logical and had the original problem, I repeat, had the original problem been a logical, a logic gate, right, a logical. So I am just, this is the original problem. I'm modifying this code for you, right? This is the original problem. And then I'm putting uh, this guy, double ampersand, right? So double ampersand basically means that it's a logic gate. It's a logic now. So we are seeing that what is the logical 
and operation for two operands okay so you see the value a is 8 which is a non zero it is considered true b is also 4 which is non zero it is considered true so this is true and then this is true with these values original values actually correct so these two are true then the answer will be true here okay so if you if you see this code when you compile this once again right basically so let's compile this once again so what you see is the answer is true the answer became true by just making sure that the answer became true by making sure that you know this become true by adding a one more so we converted from a bitwise to a logical right so bitwise operation versus the logical operation so these are two fundamental fundamentally different uh, you know uh, operations on these two input or these two operands right so i hope uh, in this presentation you know you have understood the subtle difference between a bitwise operation versus a logical operation right okay many people get the logical operation uh, right but bitwise they fumble because they have to understand how it works actually okay so i am sure uh, this uh, seemingly simple code would have helped you to understand you know intricacies and something how we should approach the problem and the solution Thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in another video.